Very good morning, Honorable Minister of Fisheries, Mr. Douglas Devananda, Honorable Members of the Parliament from the Daphna District, Mr. M. N. Anasinghe, Secretary to the Ministry of Education, Professor Vasanti Arsalatna, Commission Member, and also the former VC of DEFNA, Professor Mohan Das, Chancellor of Omnia. Very importantly, my very good friend, Vice Chancellor of the University of DEFNA, Professor Sri Sakumaraja. Dean of the Faculty of Technology, Professor Shiva Tandran, and all other deans of faculties, Secretary to the University Grants Commission, Accountant UGC, all other deans of faculties, Registrar and his team, ladies and gentlemen. We all know that we are in a new normal situation. Before the pandemic, that was before 2020, the situation is totally different. Even though physically we are meeting like this today, still in most of the places we cannot meet like this. But what I want to emphasize how we open a building like this, this may be one of the biggest buildings in our system. This is huge. Vice Chancellor took me to this premises yesterday and we went to each and every place of this building. This is unbelievably huge. And this is for sons and daughters of this country, not for anybody else. We are teaching them, we get the degrees, we get the experience, and thereby they can help the country for the development. So you just imagine how many times we have closed completely as a country during these two and a half years, four to five times we have closed. And we all know we are in a crisis. We were in a politically instabilized situation, but today it's 100% all right, I believe. So with all these matters, University of Jaffna managed to have this building open today. And you cannot find buildings and openings in the system because for the last two and a half years, you know, no one worked in sites. So I don't know how Vice Chancellor, Professor Sri Satpunalaja, and his team developed this place, a huge building like this, not just a one story, a small smart classroom. This is one of the huge places ever we have. Then he said nearly 2,500 students are 
physically studying in this place in University of Jaffna. This is unbelievable. Only here, that is unbelievable. So, we are now thinking of reopening physical universities, but that is not relevant to University of Jaffna and Trinity as well, because you all have not closed physically. And yesterday I went to your community kitchen. These are not just concepts where you can practice everywhere in the world. Yes, Ammachi. Yes, thank you, GA. Hope you will give more facilities. Thank you. So that place ensured quality food for everybody for better, competitive, very cheap price. So those food you cannot find in a Colombo five star hotels. To that extent, I have experienced the quality of food. I had yesterday tea there and today in the morning breakfast there with deans here. So community come here with their raw materials. Vice Chancellor have provided them a kitchen and for zero cost they prepare food for all of us. So these are the things actually in a new normal situation that we have come to know. With this only, we can think about a future of this country. So Honorable Douglas Devanand is, I would say, a very good friend of Jaffna University. That is why he is here. Yes, he, he, he used to visit University Grants Commission at least two or thrice a month asking what has happened to that proposal, why this is not happening. So you can't find politicians like that today helping universities. So Jaffna is one of the places where you have that blessings. And also, what I want to say, in a new normal situation, there are so many things still that we need to provide for the development. So still, Vice Chancellor didn't ask anything so far. But I know before we leave, he will give a list. <laughs> and I hope you all remember that University of Jaffna requested to establish Sir Ponnambulam Ramanathan faculty for performing arts. So the present government has taken keen steps to establish this and given the green light. So please thank our Secretary of Education, <laughs> Minister of Education, Honorable Susil Premadanta. He helped going out of the way to get it done, all documentation. And before I leave from Jaffna, I will be able to hand over the Gazette notification so, His Excellency the President and the Prime Minister, they all were very keen to establish Sir Ponnambal Ramanathan Performing Arts Faculty in Jaffna. Many more to come. When I was sitting there, our Iron Lady, Professor Vasanti, is asking, you are getting only that uh, uh, notification. Why not Siddha? Yes, uh, bring us Siddha also before you leave. I said, yes, yes, <laughs> too much uh, pressures, but I will somehow bring this. So, Professor Vasanti is representing everybody at UGC. 
the best example is very recently we had a promotion interviews senior assistant secretary or registrar to deputy registrar or deputy bursar so i have invited him to come and sit with us and i have asked her when a registrar anybody walking for the interview from jaffna i have asked her please speak in tamil and tell us the the time and the marks that we want to allocate we have given the 100% the comfortable environment at university grants commission to everybody so this time those who have participated 100% they got their promotions not because of that language but we have created telling you the two equal right so we are even though in a bad situation this new normal we are doing our work 100% i must thankful jafna management vice chancellor all deans academia registrar and his team having students more than 70% 75% physically with all these difficulties i know in jafna premises at the community kitchen you provide free meals at least one meal per day unbelievable unbelievable thank you vice chancellor so i am also trying to visit tomorrow uh, to community kitchen for lunch so thank you very much for what you all are doing and uh, waiting to see more results thank you